Coverdale Bible, the prophet Isaiah, what Isaiah containeth, chapter 23. The punishment of Tyre, of all the cities by the sea coast and of the isles. The 23rd chapter. An heavy burden upon Tyrus. Mourn, ye ships of Tarsus, for she is thrown down to the ground, and conquered of them that are come from Kitten. The indwellers of the islands, the, merchant, the merchants of Sidon, and they that occupied the sea, of whom thou wast full some time, are at a point. For by sea were their fruits brought unto thee, and all manner of corn by water. Thou wast the common market of all people. Sidon is sorry for it, yea, and all the power of the sea complaineth, and saith, Oh, that I had never travailed with child, that I had never borne any, that I had neither nourished boy nor brought up daughter. As soon as Egypt perceiveth it, she will be as sorry as Tyrus itself. Go over the sea, mourn ye that dwell in the isles. Is not that the glorious city, which hath been of long antiquity, whose natives dwelling far off command her so greatly? Who hath devised such things upon Tyrus, the crown of all cities, whose merchants and captains were the highest and principal of the world? Even the Lord of hosts hath devised it, that he may put down all pomp and minish all the glory of the world. Go through thy land, O thou daughter of the sea, as men go over the water, and there is not a girdle more. Thus the Lord that removeth the kingdoms, and hath taken in hand against that mighty Canaan to root it out, hath stretched out his hand over the sea, and said, From henceforth shalt thou make no more mirth, O thou daughter Sidon, for thou shalt be put down of the Ketans. Stand up, therefore, and go where the enemy will carry thee, where thou shalt also have no rest. Behold, for thine ensemble, the Caldes were such a people that no man was like them. Assur builded them. He set up his castles and palaces and broke them down again. And therefore mourn, ye ships of the sea, for your power shall be thrown down. After that shall the seventy years of Tyrus, even as long as their king's life was, be forgotten. And after seventy years it shall happen to Tyrus, as with an harlot that playeth upon a lute. Take thy lute, say men to her, and go about the city. Thou art yet an unknown wench. Make pastime with diverse ballads, whereby thou mayest come into acquaintance. Thus shall it happen after seventy years. The Lord shall visit the city of Tyrus, and it shall come again to her merchandise, and shall occupy with all the kingdoms that be in the world. But all her occupying and winning shall be hallowed unto the Lord. For then shall they lay up nothing behind them, nor upon heaps, but the merchandise of Tyrus shall belong unto the citizens of the Lord, to the feeding and sustaining of the hungry, and to the clothing of the aged.